Hi guys, welcome back. Episode 23, um, Man City. Um, we started the season in pretty good form. Three wins over, again, I guess, some relatively easy opposition. Charlton today, Fenerbahce, Liverpool, Juventus, Tottenham, Marseille. Um, coming up, that group there, not too bad. Um, <coughs> sorry guys, my throat is still a little bit... Uh, a little bit funny, I thought I'd actually got rid of it, but no, it's still just hanging on there. Um, while we're away, interestingly, um, uh, Zlatan is out for a month with groin strain, which is really disappointing because he's been in excellent form. Um, we picked up manager of the month, player of the month, and young player of the month, so looking really, really good there. I um, before we get going, I did have some uh, comments from just, uh, Matty Bullman. Just give me um some suggestions. He obviously did mention to get uh, Max Inter's Galco, um, which yeah, we you know. I'm not sure he's even on my shortlist, is he? Um, I mean, we all know about him. I usually uh, try and avoid him. He's at Ajax. He's listed for loan. And he's unhappy. Doesn't like Daniel Cruz. Um, is he... Uh, look, we'll chuck him on my shortlist. I usually... I don't know. Don't try and sign him because he's, you know, he's amazing. But anyway, we'll um, we'll leave him there. A couple of others he mentioned as well, uh, like um, uh, Carl Gouris, the Greek guys as well, Luca Toni, Fabio Rosini, um, all those guys there. Luca Toni, obviously, um, is a legend. The good, yeah, you might have to. Um, the good thing about Luca Tono, <laughs> the good thing about Luca Toni is he plays for Brescia. Now, if you load up the Italian leagues, he has a, um, he's unhappy. Um, he generally has a relegation release clause of, like, maybe 5 mil max that, um, Brescia get relegated generally, and you can pick him up super-duper cheap, so, um, he's definitely one there to, to go for Greeks. Uh, we got Toberos here as well. Got Skalidis. A um, couple of goalkeepers there. Um, we don't have, like you said, Kalgoris. I don't. No, that's obviously not how you spell his name. Um, Kalo. Kalo. Or something like that. Um, definitely not him. Touch Hill, no. <laughs> not him. Oh, maybe it is. There he is. Yeah, he's at Atlanta now. I thought he was on my short list. He's not. Look at those stats. <laughs> Look at these stats. Oh my god. That is disgustingly good for a 20 year old. And the other good um, Greek striker is um, Politis. Uh, oh my god, this club is called Seaman in Indonesia. That's a terrible, terrible club name. Terrible, terrible club name. Um, I can't find him. Anyway. I think we're looking pretty good for the strikers. Anyway, this will bring Anelka back in um, to the team. Charlton today should, you know, be a bit of a, a walk in the park. Gravison is going to come back onto the bench. And, um, and we'll go from there. Charlton should be relatively easy to beat. They are 17th. Um... 
picked up a win yet, so. And there's Matt Kerr scoring, which is excellent. Good stuff. Oh, they got um, Sander Westerfield in goal. This guy as well, obviously. I thought I had most of these guys on my shortlist, but I don't. He's another amazing defender as well. It's just, it's ridiculous. These Greek guys on here, this like, stats are ridiculous. Like you go back to Toberos, he's like seventeen, and he's just twenties coming out of everywhere. Crazy. <clears throat> This is looking at uh, Jason Yule. Uh, Nico Fermin goes with Thyendry. Off for Graveson. Uh, everyone else. Nelka still hasn't scored. Maybe the, um, the bubble has burst. <clears throat> Maybe the Nelka bubble has burst. Oh no. Jason. Jason bloody Yule. Um, Graveson's not playing well. Oh my god. There's me basically saying that, oh yeah, Charlton, that'll be an easy game. And then we go ahead and we just have an absolute crapper. Yes, one of Shiotis's, um, performances there and we've dropped that's that's frustrating really really frustrating All right Fenerbahce on Wednesday <clears throat> oh, that's annoying to lose to Charlton as well <sighs> oh, it's just this game sometimes Just annoys you. Anyway. Alright, righto. Fenerbahce. Um, Sunji Hai is out. Uh, we'll bring Distan in. It's all good. Um, Alexander Farnard is a little bit tired. Let's get him off. And Gravison, another shot. Just form so far this season. Um, Feinrad has played really well. 93 though. Um, we'll want him for the Liverpool game. Uh, Anelka's still going to head up front. Let's get Feinrad on there instead of Rooney. Um, yep. Alright, let's go with that. <coughs> now this obviously... You know, in this group here, Marseille and Fenerbahce, they're the team, two teams that we should be beating. And Nalka with his first goal of the season. Mark Kerr, good stuff. They're the two teams we should beat with, you know, a tussle against Juventus. Um, Fenerbahce have a really good goalkeeper. Re Rekba Rustu is actually quite decent on this game. A little bit old, but, you know, not too bad. Um, but at this point in time, we are destroying them. <clears throat> and Nelka with a double. Not in the same way that we were beating, beating Charlton and then lost, thank God. But Lee Young Po with a. Look, just. He's one of the best left backs in the game. By all means. Definitely, definitely a good left back. And so, so, so cheap as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. My voice is just shot. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I mean, we got him for half a mil. It's just, he's amazing left back. Um, alright. Duffers, Okolongo. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know he's got a double, but... Mm -mm. 
triple substitution. Save some of my players for that um, Liverpool game in a couple of days. That's a good win. And Juventus record a win over Marseille there as well. Good to see Anelka getting off the... Um, getting his goal scoring off to a, a good start. Right, Liverpool on Saturday. Then Juventus, Spurs and Marseille. I wonder if we can... Oh, I don't think we'll get to West Brom there. What, how many games is that? One, two, three, four, five, five games. Me, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. We'll clean out all of September nicely. Excuse me. I don't know how well the um, <coughs> one episode a month is going to work because obviously we, you know, look, September we know with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games in the month. So it's a little bit... um might be a little bit of a squeeze and especially if we get to that December period is going to be manic um, in a weird twist of fate taking off Mike Duff early in that game even though he's on a yellow I know it doesn't count for European and whatnot, but just to protect him he then goes ahead and he's out two weeks with a damaged neck so good stuff there um, that's alright Sunji High is back now, Wright Phillips is my backup, and he, I'm going to give it to him because, um, I mean, yeah, I mean, we could, play, we could play Okoronko there, but I think I'll go for, we'll, we'll get Rooney on the bench, we'll go like this, yep, and Nilka's a little bit weak, that's all right, and then we've, well, it's just thick and fast with these games in Juve. <coughs> Kirkland, ah, oh, Christopher Kirkland, yeah, yeah, really, really good in this. Carragher, and we've already scored. Farnerud, now they signed Trevor Sinclair. And Ray Parler. Weird. Got Reese on the bench. Now, why have you got Reese on the bench? And you're playing Gregory Vignal. I say that, and of course, Milan Barris has scored final with a penalty. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My voice is awful. I do apologise. Final with a second. He is such a good player. And there's his hat trick in the first half. Uh, I changed him to say because his penalties went through the roof. I mean, his stats are going gangbusters. Um, he's such an amazing player. And he's played sporadically. There's a lot of sub-appearances in there, but his average rating is just, like... He's my favourite, favourite championship manager player of all time. Alexander Farnerod. All time. <clears throat> Get the young Paul off. Um, and he's got his hat trick, and the lad can have a rest. Let's get Rooney on, see if he can do any <coughs> anything up front this time. Alexander Feinrad, I'll tell you why he's my favourite player of all time. Because when I very, very first started playing this game, um, which was obviously when it came out, um, there it is. Anelka, man of the match, interesting. Three assists. Mm. Um, I found him. Now, obviously, it was back in the day. The internet was available, but you couldn't quite easily find you know, all the really good players, but I found him just randomly from here, um, and he looked decent as a 17-year-old, and I signed him, played for a few years, and realised he went amazing, and I signed him in every version of this that I could, even in the ones where he was a bit crap, um, yeah, by far my favourite player on this game of all time, 
mainly for that reason that, yeah, it just happened upon him the first time I was playing this, and, yeah, he just, oh, <clears throat> couldn't believe it. There's a couple of others on that list, actually. Uh, Ibrahim Saeed was another one. I stumbled across him. Um, I can't remember if there are any other of those wonderish kids that I just, <coughs> excuse me, happened upon. I don't think so. I think they were just the only two. Um, yeah, and I never, I never knew anything about Maxim Tuzialko when I first started playing this game, even for the few years I played it for when it first came out, before I moved on to playing, you know, other championship managers and football managers and that. Right, Juventus, Tuesday, Tuesday, bloody hell. <coughs> I mean, definite rotations are going to be coming in, I think. Alright, Juventus, a couple of changes, right Phillips is a bit tired, Okoronkwo is going to come into right back, which will give us Sunji high and distant there, I think he can play there, he's got the pace, his crossing isn't great, but yeah, okay, um, Gravison, Nicky Franco is a little bit tired there, so other than that we're not looking too bad, Barsom still just churning out sevens, did I, um, Took off his free roll, didn't I? Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Because he still wasn't doing that well with it. All right, Juventus. Buffon, Babel. Got what a team. Tudor. Ned Ved. And they signed Zidane back as well. Del Piero. And they've signed Christian Vieri because... Because David Trezeguet, we don't really need him. We can just put him on the bench. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, all right, let's go. This is obviously going to be our challenge, will be um, Juventus in this group. You would assume it would be the two of us who would, um, <coughs> excuse me, go through. <coughs> oh, Goronkwo goes down, that's not good, we'll bring Yobo on. the goal. Not good. Oh, Del Piero with another one. Ugh. <coughs> Just kind of shows how far off the pace we actually are of champions, you know, winning the Champions League. With um, really, really poor performances like this. You can't blame them. Blame them? I mean, you can blame them. Yeah, yeah. We definitely need a lot more tweaking to be <coughs> before we can be um, Donnie. Up in Champions of Europe as Toribo West. I um, believe that's his second game of the season. Adds a, uh, a, a late goal. Um, so that's disappointing. Fenerbahce beat Marseille. Okay, two weeks. But he right backs. Dropping like flies here. Alright, we've, um, we've got Spurs now on Saturday. Uh, <clears throat> that's going to be a tough one. They are bottom of the table, though. One draw. Um, so we may have to rest some players. <clears throat> may have to rest them. 
<clears throat> All right, guys. Spurs. Um, now, I am. I'm going to play uh, a reserve-ish team. I guess my backup team here because um, this is super important. Spurs are bottom of the table, so it's just a bit of a you know calculated game like that. So Langfield there. Let's include the reserves, and we'll just filter out a little bit here. So, uh, left back will be Jamie. Oh, left back will start there. Will be Jamie Victory. Right back will be. Now I'm going to go for Yobo because Wright Phillips is probably going to play there. We've lost Rebo West as well. He's out with a calf strain for th uh, three weeks, which is good. <clears throat> so at the back, we're going to go Stephen Caldwell, and he's going to team up with. Freddie Wisp. Harland will go there. Midfielders. Um, we're going to play Walker in the middle. Gravison, because he's not playing very well. He needs a chance um, to impress out there. Um, we might play Hasmenovic. And then behind the striker, Rayad. And Rooney with his first start. Um, and I am going to put more reserves on the bench just given everyone some room Coco, Fox um, DMC seems a problem Tierney um Yeah, that old DMC with um mm. Let's give Whitley and you know what is it I'm gonna I'm taking off their transfer list. Right, there we go. Bit different. Um, what, just youth player, youth, youth, youth. I give all my youth players, um, 40, and then Whitley can have 25. Oh, Caldwell, I guess, is an AM. Youth player, is he? He can have 19. All right. Victory captain. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Should be enough to get over Tottenham here, hopefully. Timmy Cahill. Although it is all Tottenham. Is that Alan Navarro? Far out. At least Langfield is doing a good job in goal. We do nothing up front though. Absolutely nothing with Rooney. Oh, Matty Edrington is a great player on this. Low determination in this one, but he actually should get quite good. Either way, it's half time. Tottenham are dominating. Luckily Jamie Langfield's up to the challenge. My youth team is a bit crap. I feel like Tottenham are going to score here. <coughs> Gravison. And there's Etherington. Alright, Rooney. Of course, Hart. Um. Whitley on for Harland and McCook 
cool. Let's see if that can do anything. Pinch one at the end. Ugh, oh, God. What do I get for the rest of my goalkeeper? I should have played Chio. It's just oh, Walker. Offside. Ah, oh, this is my own fault. Ah, oh, yes. One more, one more. Oh, you know what? It's not too bad. It's away from home. Tottenham are really dominative. Dominative? Dominating. And we did play a very weak team. Um, yes, we've lost ground to Chelsea, but... I mean, these games are catching up to us. We're getting injuries like one, two, three, four. We play four games in ten days. It's ridiculous. All right, and squeezing the Marseille game to finish it off. Quit the squad. All right, guys, back for the Marseille game. Um, lining up with our strongest possible squad here. Right, Phillips will obviously still fill in that right back. Um, other than that, we'll get back out there. Far right. Just unstoppable he is. Um, Daniel Van Buten used to play for Man City as well, if I believe correctly. If I remember, believe correctly, remember correctly. Um, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Final road with another one. That's good. Juventus are beating Fenerbahce as well. That's alright. We just, you know... Like I said with this stuff, we beat... Um, we beat the two weaker teams in here. Um, oh, Final road, he just... Like, second hat-trick of the season. Um... We'll, we'll qualify and then we'll, we'll we'll just go from there. Get a bit of luck with maybe against Juve at home. Um, that'll be good. As Funrod bags his fourth goal of the game. That's just ridiculous. Um, I'm going to leave him on. I'm going to leave him on and see if he can get five. They usually take them off, but can he get five? Marseille get one back. Five would be impressive. Nikki Ferenko gets the fifth. Well done, guys. Well done. What a game. Alexander Feinrod just unstoppable. I just keep getting bids in. I've upped his value to 15 million. I'll keep getting bids in from like Arsenal and stuff. So what a game. Nick Franco with a 10 as well. Excellent. Good, good. Really good play there. Um, didn't mean to click continue. There you go. It's a, it's a record for four goals. Anyway, um, quick rack recap there. Kicked off with that loss to Charlton was disappointing. Lost against Juventus as well. Got some solid wins against Fenerbahce and goals against Marseille and a good 3-1 win over Liverpool. We sit second in the table, point behind Chelsea, although Newcastle and Liverpool do have a game in hand. Players are playing well, we've got a few injuries, but anyway guys, please like, comment by all means. I will get back I will reply to your comments uh, or and give you a shout out in the video as well, I guess. Um, subscribe and hit the bell notification and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.